To the, to the left, I can't see you. So Sorry. <laughs> to my left. Right there's fine. No, whenever right you guys fine. are ready. Right there's fine. Thank you. All right, don't move them because I'm, so I'm a rookie. Stay in this spot. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, okay. Are we good, y'all? Yep. Awesome. So, Emma, thank you so much. Um, you know the trail is here. Can we please have your name, how it's spelled, and your title? Sure. My name is Emma Hunneke. That's H-U-E-N-N-E-K-E. -E, and my title is uh, Sergeant for the Public Relations Unit. Emma, getting right into it, uh, tell us what's happening right here in this neighborhood. So early this morning, we received some additional information from a veterinarian that's working with us closely with this investigation. And this additional information was information we did not know prior to today. Uh, it included some medical concerns regarding some of the dogs that um, this individual had. And these were uh, medical issues that had not been disclosed to neither the veterinarian nor to us or nor to the uh, Arizona Humane Society. So we were able to use that information to lawfully uh, draft a search warrant for this resident's home. Uh, we are currently at the residence with the Arizona Humane Society doing an inventory and assessment of the dogs in the home so we can determine with the assistance of Arizona Humane Society, we can determine the medical conditions with all of the dogs and uh, figure out where we go from here. We are continuing this investigation. It has been ongoing for approximately two weeks. This is just another uh, part of the investigation. And later on tonight, we'll be able to release a search warrant. I'm sorry, a release a press release that has the information regarding the uh, results of the search warrant. And can you share with us, if you can at this time, what that new piece of information was that led to this? It had to do with the, a medical condition related to one of the dogs. Do we know how many dogs? So today's information that the veterinarian gave us was uh, pertained to three dogs specifically. We don't have a uh, complete amount at this point, right at this moment. This is what we are doing right now is conducting an inventory and assessment of all the dogs in the home. So all the dogs are being removed from the home and from this owner? We are conducting an inventory and an assessment of all the dogs in the home. All right, Sergeant, let's talk about this has been going on a couple of weeks. People, animal advocates have been emailing us such a long time talking about deplorable conditions. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about the conditions of the home as far as you know, whether it was back then and as even uh, recently as today? Well, this is the first time that we've served the search warrant that gets us into the home to, to do this complete assessment of what we have going on. If there is uh, any crimes that, you know, are, are, are being uh, done inside the home, we'll know this. Uh, right now it's ongoing investigation so hopefully the press release that you guys receive later on this evening will have more details about that. Okay and I know uh, things are coming from the uh, veterinary side not the criminal side but what will happen with the animals tonight? Are they being sent to an animal hospital? Like talk about that for us. It's going to depend if there's an animal that needs medical condition or medical uh, 
assistance at this moment, they will definitely be getting that medical assistance that they need. Did you mention, sorry, it came up a little bit later, but did you mention how many animals in total predicted in, inside the home? We don't know. This is what we're doing right now is inventorying and assessing their medical condition. And so they're from the Humane Society? Uh, I'm not sure what their affiliation to the Humane Society is. Let's talk about the woman accused. Uh, we're not gonna put the name out because we don't know if uh, she will be charged at this point. But this is, I think everybody knows, but for us, can you give us a little idea of what's uh, being thrown against her, what she's been saying as part of all of this? Like, can you bring her into the picture for us? You know, what I can tell you is that uh, she was working closely with our investigators and with the Humane Society, uh, which has been a really strong partner to the Chandler Police Department throughout this entire investigation. We appreciate those close partnerships, especially when it comes to investigating animal cruelty issues. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without that collaboration. So uh, we're working closely with them and determining what's going on inside of this house. We'll know more later on tonight. So this individual has been cooperative. She was cooperative, yes. And I know you all are taking an inventory right now, but at this time, can you confirm any dogs that are seriously injured in serious condition or even those who have passed? Yes, I can confirm that three dogs were the ones that the veterinarian brought to our attention as uh, conditions that were unknown to us prior to today. Do we know what kind of condition those are? I cannot give you that information. I don't have those details. Do we know what kind of type of dog they are and what I've only heard uh, a wide variety of different breeds, um, probably a lot of mixed breeds, uh, and it appears that the majority, if not all of them, are special needs dogs. And let me push you a little bit more on this, Sergeant, because um, I think we all know we've been following this for a couple of weeks, but a lot of people will see this story tonight and tell to say, oh, y'all should have done this a long time ago. You touched on there's a process <laughs> to getting the warrant, but can you elaborate on what the ordinance is because there's an ordinance for the city and there's an ordinance for the state. Can you elaborate on what those are? Well, I can tell you that we're definitely following uh, and abiding by any uh, ordinances, procedures, anything that's available to us. You guys want to take a pause? Yeah, thank you. See how good they're driving. Yeah. It's kind of a tight, tight little uh, corridor for them. Um, so as I was saying, from the moment that this investigation began, we have been uh, carefully assessing what we can legally uh, look into, what our investigation, uh, the limits to what we can and cannot do. And what uh, we have done is everything within our city ordinances, state uh, codes uh, to with what we had at the time. Uh, speculation alone isn't enough to get a search warrant. We have to have more concrete um, facts. So when we did receive things that could be uh, used towards a search warrant, we immediately were able to go in that direction. In regards to the search warrant, what, under what premise was the search warrant granted? I don't have that information, um, but as uh, this investigation continues, that should be available sometime in the future. Have you guys responded to this home in the past? There have been calls for service at this home in the past. Can you elaborate on that? For what and what, how many and when? I don't have those details right now. Is this a hazmat situation at this time or no? You know, initially, uh, as we arrived, they were treating it as such just because of the fumes. We'd rather be cautious for all of our first responders here and our Arizona Humane Society staff that are helping us today. So that's uh, part of the reason why fire department was here to assist with that, make sure that uh, there wasn't any sort of hazardous level of fumes. And uh, let me ask you, uh, Talking with a lot of the people today, the advocates, uh, I was told that a couple of people came yesterday, possibly even a teenager. Were there any calls for people at the home? Did police have to make an arrest of anybody uh, at this home? 
Yeah, so we have received some calls of people um, coming to the home uninvited. And uh, last night there was an incident where a juvenile uh, did attempt to jump into the backyard and was um, is being charged with trespassing because of his actions. He was attempting or did he actually? I wasn't there, uh, but it uh, would be my understanding that he did enter into the yard. What are we able to, um, or what, what are you guys able to confirm about the um, woman that lives there? Does she have like a, a business where she, or like a, a rescue type place? I know, you know, we've heard different things online, so I don't know if you're able to give information of she has a rescue at her home or these are just her own animals that she cares for. My understanding is that she functions as a rescue. Is there anything you want the public to know about this at this time? I'm sure you've seen a, a lot of talk on social media. What do you want to say to uh, put the people of Chandler at ease and know that you all are trying to do the best you can in this situation? You know, here in the city of Chandler, we're very uh, honored and blessed to have the support of our community. It is as strong as it is because of our consistent you know, work ethic and our strong investigations. We are doing uh, our job as we would have regardless of the social media um, stuff that was out there. So I, I think that our community knows that, you know, we do a really good job and we serve the community, animals, humans alike. So the information we received this morning from the vet gave us additional uh, facts that we did not have prior to today that uh, put it to a level that allowed us to obtain the search warrant. Let me get one more recap, Sergeant. I, I know you said it, but just for our sake, when did you all first hear about this? When did you all take the first step to come and when did you all begin to execute the Right, so uh, our very first uh, contact when it comes to this specific investigation was on September 8th, was when we received the first uh, call for service. And since then, we have been diligently working on this investigation. Uh, the information that we received this morning kind of put things at a new level where we were able to get that search warrant. And, I, I, and I've heard from some of the people I've been talking with for days that this is far greater, it's far worse than originally believed and you guys could not figure that out until you answer it. Is that how you all understand it right now? There's there's definitely um, procedures that must be followed, uh, evidence that we need uh, documented and to be able to show before a search warrant will be granted. And so uh, prior to this, there wasn't sufficient evidence and now there was as of this morning. And then, um, you know, talk mm -hmm. about obviously, you know, you guys, um, have your investigation and your processes but also like for the community to be the eyes and ears you know um, of alerting if they see something you know wrong happening um, you know just anything that you would like to say to the public that did call in and, and possibly give tips or and information to help well like I said earlier we are uh, here serving the community animals humans uh, and we are doing what we would do with any call. We do always appreciate getting that uh, information from community members. That's how it starts. Uh, so this is no different. And just to, to be clear here on the hazmat situation, originally came in cold. As such, it's no longer a hazmat situation. Is that accurate? Yeah, so when officers first arrived on scene, it appeared, you know, there's been uh, reports of strong odors of uh, because of perhaps the pets in the home. So we wanted to ensure that there weren't hazardous fumes occurring at the residence with our first responders inside of a very small uh, home. So that's why they were requested to ensure that uh, everybody was safe inside the home. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, so much. When do you, Thank think you guys. Have numbers? Uh, tonight. Yeah. When they're done. So like not before 10 o'clock? So the real, I, I don't know. The real question, when will they be done? Yeah. Yeah. I um, think that would be before 9.30. I like don't we know. We have to update our things. I 100% don't know. And then at this point, did you say if the mm -hmm. owner was arrested? No, right? 